Hi everybody, uh, we're back doing our German infantry set. Um, wow, definitely got a lot of views on the last couple videos regarding this diorama. Um, thank you for that, I really, really do enjoy doing this uh, for you guys, whether you've done models for most of your life or whether you've only done it for a little bit. Um, doesn't matter, you know, thank you very much for that. So, um, discovered that one of the vital pieces of our infantry guys was actually deformed and defective. So we're not going to be building one of them. Um, that's okay. That happens. I've had that happen a couple of times in some models. But we're going to push on. We're going to keep going. So tonight is going to be a little bit different. Um, we're going to look at a different type of glue. Um, and this is going to kind of just be a, if a mistake happens, use it as a teaching method type of video. So I've been using a few different types of glue just to kind of feel, get a feel for what I want and what I like to use. And tonight we're going to be using some uh, Gorilla Glue. Now, a um, couple things I'm going to say in my video, we're going to be working with sharp objects. Please, 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 I don't care what excuse you want to put out there. Be careful with the sharp objects. So we're going to have a few things on hand as well. few tools and we're going to start getting uh, some of these guys put together now I haven't been able to do, to do much uh, because of how busy this week has been for me um, so sorry about that but let's go ahead and start and let's get our guys going so we're continuing on this little squad right here um, we're just gonna be putting these together in patches so let's go ahead and take a look and see what we've got. So we're going to be working on this guy right here. So he's a non-commissioned officer. And we're going to get these pieces off and start putting him together. So we're looking at the torso and the legs. So let's take a look here. Right here. So that's going to be this guy right here. Now, gently popping him off. Um, I mistakenly, and I, and I, and I should know better, uh, mistakenly put primer all over this. It's best not to do that because of the fact that it, the glue has a hard time sticking to painted surfaces. So we're going to do a couple things here. One, we're going to trim his feet down so that the piece on the sprue doesn't make it unstable, make him kind of look like he's drunk or cockeyed. And we're going to go ahead and also shave down his feet a little bit to have a mating surface. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna grab one of these bases. Now, when you're also working with this glue, be very, very careful. This stuff bonds very quickly, it sets very quickly. So it, you know, just just be careful with it. Don't get it on your fingers. As best you can it's not easy to get off okay so we've got that now I've talked about dry fitting in my other videos dry fitting is where you take two pieces before you glue them and set them together to make sure that they fit now in this case we're going to do that with his feet to kind of get an idea where he's gonna sit all right so this is the stuff that we're going to use. Now, being very careful, we're just going to take a drop. So when you're doing this, you know, you want to move quickly, quickly, but you want to be careful. And like I said in this video, if a mistake happens, that's okay. We're going to we're going to take this as a teaching opportunity. So drop and a drop. Now, this stuff takes a minute to cure, so you're going to have to hold it in place. Okay. We're just going to set him right there. We're going to let that cure for a little bit. 
and that way he has a chance to adhere to the base. So this stuff works quickly, but it still takes a minute to dry. Now I haven't been able to do too much of getting people assembled because of how busy this is, week is. <coughs> it's a week before Christmas, so um, I'll be putting some more guys together tomorrow when we do another video. Now, we need to be careful of the fact that he has this weapon in his hand. When you go about um, putting these together, especially with the glue that we're using, we need to take into consideration how his arm is going to sit. Now, this is kind of hard because his arm is hidden, but we'll adapt. So, let's go ahead and get that one moving. Okay, so that is going to be his arm. So that's going to be his right arm. So that will be P1. Which will be right here. So now if you look at his arm, it's angled and it's going to be holding his weapon. So we're going to do, we're going to do something a little bit different with this. We're going to let him, we're going to keep this piece on this. We're actually going to glue his uh, MP40 to his hand. And that's going to be one of these one of these guys. Now the reason we're going to do that is because when we glue it on there, it's going to be kind of hard to get in there. And we don't want to risk breaking or damaging the components. So let's go ahead and get one of these out. Now being very careful with how small these pieces are, you can just use the tip of your razor. I just kind of get a little leverage and pop it off just like that. We're going to do that with both sides. Now, I'm holding on to the weapon, but again, please, everybody be careful when you do this. And there we go. Let's set that aside. So, here's how we're going to do this. Here's the hand and the arm that's going to be going on him. So, what we're going to do is we're going to keep that piece on there. And we're going to dry fit this gun. Now we can turn this to the side with it still on there, that way we can access it. And this is how it's going to look. It's kind of hard to see in my camera, but that's what it's going to look like. Okay, so with that, what we're going to do is we're going to put a drop in his hand and then carefully press it into position to have that stay. So. Okay, here we go. Moving quickly. Position and we're going to hold it there. Now we're going to press that into his palm just a little bit. Just like that, trigger figure on the trigger, and there's his arm with his weapon. Now this is his other hand, so that's going to be crate or that's going to be grabbing the magazine. Oh. But I don't want to do that until we actually set it onto his arm, or excuse me, set it onto his body. So being very careful while that's drying, we're going to go ahead and snip off. his arm and that gorilla glue is holding that in place very well so we don't have to worry about anything else okay so we're going to take our nco here <clears throat> and again we're going to be dry fitting now you can grab it by the barrel as long as you're careful for a couple of reasons one you don't want to bend it because it's such a small piece and two it's still drying but here's what it's going to look like with the dry fit. Just like that, okay? I'll do that again, that way everybody can see. So, we're going to work quickly, but we're going to be very careful when we do this. I 
there. Get that arm into position. I'll press on that just a little bit. Try to move it up while he's drying. There you go. Now you may have to try and maneuver it a little bit if it doesn't sit correctly. But see right there how that glue, how that dries very quickly. Just be careful while you're doing it. Okay. So we're going to get his other arm in place. Now we're going to be able to paint around this. We just have to exercise a little bit more caution when it comes time to paint him. So we're going to get this arm. I'm going to go ahead and cut that piece off. That way it's flush. And again, being very careful. We'll trim that down. Okay. All right. So here comes another important part. We're going to dry fit his arm to see where it stands on the weapon. And that is actually going to be fairly spot on. So this is going to be a, <coughs> a little bit more of a tricky part for a couple of reasons. One, we have to hold this in place while that part dries. And two, we need to get it to where it's actually grabbing the magazine. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and dab it. Uh, we got to work somewhat quickly so it can be a little hard to gently move his arm up with the razor. Try to gently nudge his arm just a little bit higher. Now it's not exactly perfect, but it does give the illusion that he's grabbing it. And just to be careful, just to be make sure, I'm also gonna put a drop of it just a little bit right there on his hand. We're gonna kind of actually mold that in. Try to take off that excess if you can. And there you go. Now, the final piece we're going to do for this character for the evening, because um, I want to let everything dry, we're going to take one of these helmets. We're going to dry fit it. And then we're going to get that on him. Okay, so... It's gonna it's gonna kind of be kind of hard to see, but if you're looking at this where it curves up, this is the part that goes over the face. So we're gonna go ahead and dry fit. We'll see if we can get it in the camera view to give you an idea. Whoop. Hands aren't working tonight. Just like that, okay. So working quickly, put a drop on his head and pop the helmet down and adjust it as you need it. And get one more view on there. 
and there's our MP40 gunner. So when you're doing this again, let's recap a little bit before we end the video. So this stuff is really good to work with. You just have to be quick when you do it. It dries clear and you know, it, it, it makes you move quickly, but you can rely on it for a very secure, secure hold. I've had some characters with my Necromunda set where the glue that I've used just pops off after a little while. This is holding on pretty well. So, um, you want to let this dry overnight. I mean, this stuff sets in 10 to 15 seconds and working out really well. The big thing that you need to remember is you need to dry fit. Dry fitting is going to be the most, is going to be your biggest friend when it comes to getting these pieces done, all right? Especially especially with guys this size. I mean, you look at their weapons and their equipment, it's all very tiny. So, um, with that, uh, what we're gonna do in the next video is start painting everybody. But before we do that, I wanna kinda give you a view on what we've done so far. So you can kinda see that these guys uh, you can see the size comparison. This is all 148 scale. Um, and what we're going to be working on tomorrow is we're going to get everything painted. And then we're going to start putting on his, the actual equipment. That's where you're going to need your tweezers. So that's why I highly recommend having a good set of tweezers. So with that, we're going to let them dry tonight. And then tomorrow, we'll keep going. Get our, get our set done, and then we're going to start doing some fun stuff with the diorama. So, have a good night.